only four stands for last in first out and three four stands for first in first out. In the question, they have not given about normal reorder period. Very simple. You have to go for minimum plus maximum divided by two. So what is the calculation or formula for maximum stock level? Very simple. Reorder level plus reorder quantity. Now, minimum consumption into minimum reorder. Hello everyone. This is your other sir. Lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the session two of your topic called cost accounting. Under cost accounting, we are doing the chapter. It is material. Now, in material, you have many topics like you have stock level, you have EVO Q. I'll write down so that you can remember. So this will be your agenda for the day, stock level as well as problem. Now, first we'll understand what is stock level, then we will do problems on stock level. Now, I was talking about in material chapter, you have topics like one is stock level. Second one, EvoQ. And the third one is LIFO as well as FIFO. So LIFO stands for last in first out and FIFO stands for first in first out. So these are the topics you have under chapter called material. Now in this L, one more thing you have ABC. ABC analysis, you don't have problems on ABC analysis. We'll see, we'll do one problem on ABC for the safer side. Now, so these are the major topics you have, stock level, EvoQ, LIFO, FIFO, as well as ABC analysis. Now, stock level is your today's agenda. So we will work on stock level today as well as in the next session. Then we will go for your EvoQ, Finally, we will come for your LIFO as well as FIFO. The material, the major thing is LIFO as well as FIFO. Your 15 marks problem you can expect from this chapter that will be your LIFO and FIFO. So I'll, I'll make you understand and I'll explain you what is LIFO, FIFO while doing that particular topic. Even ABC, I have explained you in the session one. EVOQ also explained you in the session one. Please refer or please watch session one. Now, stock level. Stock level already I explained you, just I'll revise that or else I'll recall that. Now, stock level normally we have minimum stock level, maximum stock level, reorder stock level, as well as danger stock level. These are the four major stock level, minimum, maximum, reorder, and one more is average stock level. So total we have five stock levels. In your examination, you will get 90% minimum, maximum, reorder, as well as average stock level. Danger stock level, they will ask you only one or twice, maybe one or twice they have asked so far, but Usually you will get only four, that will be minimum, maximum, reorder, as well as average stock level. Now, what do you mean by minimum stock level? Now, few companies are there, very small in quantity, as well as their capital. You know what is stock level. If you want to produce a product, you want raw material, you need raw materials. Now, how much raw materials you have to keep it as a stock for production purpose. Just assume that this is your go down, like where you keep your raw material. This is your production unit. This is your production unit. Your raw material as well as production unit. Now, in this, if you want to produce something, you have to carry or you have to take from your raw materials. Now, if you want to produce, you call the storekeeper, I want 10 quantity, I want 5 quantity. You take from here and you will produce your production. You will do your production. Now, in this, 
First one, minimum stock level. What do you mean by minimum stock level? Now, minimum stock level means, for example, you have 100 quantity. For production, you want 100 quantity. Exactly it matches. You have least raw material. Why? Because your go-down or storeroom is very small. If you want to keep more than 100, then you have to extend. You have to buy one more. You have to pay rent for one more go down. The rent will be expensive, clear? So if you are a small budgeted company, you will go for minimum stock level. So when they are producing, again they will order for 100, again they will use, again order for 100, again they will use. So 100 will be in the go down, 100 will be in the production. Once production is done, 100 will go there, again from outside, they will take 100. This is called minimum stock level. Now, what is maximum stock level? They will keep 1000 raw materials. They will give 100, 100, 100. Every time from 1000, they'll take 100. If it comes less than 500, again, they will order, make it full 1000, clear? This is called maximum stock level. Why they go for maximum stock level means if you go for larger quantity, the price will be less. I'll give you best example. If you go to stationery shop, go and ask for pen price. They will tell you five rupees per pen. Now, I don't want one pen, I want 10 pens. What they will do? Five rupee pen, they will give you for 45 rupees. Like 45 rupees, 10 pen. Then one pen costs you five rupee, 10 pen costs you 45 rupees. Means almost you have saved five rupee. Higher the quantity, lesser the price. Now, the same thing, they have huge capital, huge investment capacity. They go for higher quantity. They buy more at less price so that their production cost will be less. That is called maximum stock level. Reorder stock level. Reorder stock level means they have fixed a standard. They have a raw material of 1000 in the go down. When it reaches 500, again they will call and they will order for balance 500. This is called reorder stock level. Whenever the 1000 reaches to 500, it is, it is a alarm that for them. So they should order for rest 500. Clear? This is called reorder stock level. Now, this is done. Next, danger stock level. Danger means what? So you are in the production, already 100 units are given. In your raw material, it is zero. Now, tomorrow it is Sunday. Now, if you order till Monday, you will not get material. You need to stop your production. So it is in the least. I'll give you best example. You have a bike. So you need to travel from one place to another place. The fuel is almost in the bottom. Now, the fuel station is around two kilometers away from your place. So you will turn, bend and everything you will push and you will pray to God that I'll get it down so that easily I can go. Why? Because your fuel is in a danger level. Clear? Hope you understood. This is called danger level. Now. Average stock level means they'll keep a uh, standard. So every time I should keep 600 as a stock. Every time, again 600, 600. This is called average. They will maintain average stock level, clear? Yes, this is all about the explanation about stock level. This is done. Nice. So we'll do one problem on stock level. So I suppose to explain you the formula, but I felt while doing problem, I explain you. Now, you're supposed to prepare reorder stock level, minimum stock level, maximum stock level, as well as average stock level. Reorder, minimum, maximum, as well as average stock level. Now, in this, reorder, you have to prepare, minimum, you have to prepare, maximum, average. Total, we have four. We have four separate formulas. Now, these are the informations we have. Normal usage, 500 units. Maximum usage, 900. Minimum usage, 300. Reorder quantity, 4,800 units. And reorder period, four to six weeks. Clear? 
Yes, we'll go to problem directly. We'll do one by one. First, we'll go for reorder level. Reorder level formula is what? Maximum consumption into maximum reorder period. Maximum consumption into maximum reorder period. Now, what is your maximum consumption in this? Maximum usage is 900. Maximum reorder period is how much? 6. I'll use different color. Yeah. Your maximum consumption is 900 and maximum usage is 6. Now, answer is very simple. Maximum consumption 900, maximum reorder 6. 900 into 6, your answer is 5400. Easy or very easy? Very easy. Now, I'll go to next one. Next is minimum stock level or minimum level. So please use a word of stock level, minimum stock level. Now, reorder level minus normal consumption into normal reorder period. Reorder level you will not get from the question, you will get from your answer. Reorder level, what is the answer? 5400. Write down the answer, 5400 units. Done? Yes. Now, normal consumption into normal reorder period. I'll go for that. Normal consumption, they have given 500 units. Have they given normal reorder period? Answer is no. Then how to find out? Very simple. You have minimum 4. You have maximum 6. 4 plus 6, 10. Average of this, you will get 5. This is called as normal reorder period. Clear? In the question, they have not given about normal reorder period. Very simple. You have to go for minimum plus maximum divided by 2. 4 plus 6 divided by 2, you will get 5. Now, so 5400, 500 into 5. How come you got this? Remember, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 divided by 2. So it will be how much? 5. So 500 into 5, 2500, 5400 minus this, you will get 2900 units. Any doubt? No doubt. Now, we are done with this. Next, normal reorder period. What is the formula? Minimum reorder period plus maximum reorder period divided by 2. Minimum you know that 4, maximum is 6. So 6 plus 4, it is 10. So we already done this, but separately they have asked. So we have done. Normal reorder stock level, we have done. Next, the last one. This is not stock level. We have calculated only period. We calculated only period. We have not calculated stock level. We calculated only period. Then next, maximum stock level. So what is the calculation of formula for maximum stock level? Very simple. Reorder level plus reorder quantity. Now, minimum consumption into minimum reorder. Now, when you are doing maximum stock level, always apply the logic. While doing maximum, go for opposite. Opposite of maximum is what? Minimum. Minimum consumption into minimum reorder period. Now, in this reorder level, how much? 5,400 and reorder quantity is 4,800. Minimum consumption it is 300 units. Minimum reorder period is 4 weeks. So, in the question, you will get everything. I'll go back and I'll check. See. Reorder quantity is 4,800. Reorder stock level is 5,400. 5,400 and 4,800 add both. You will get around 10,200. Now, so 300 into 4, it will be 1,200. If you minus this, you will get 9,000 units. The 9,000 units, we call it as maximum stock level. Hope you understood. The last will be average stock level. Average stock level formula is very simple. Minimum stock level plus half of reorder quantity. Now, minimum stock level, I'll go back to your question. Minimum stock level is around 300 units per week, but stock level. So we have done, I think, 
earlier order, yeah. Minimum stock level, you got answer of 2,900. Now, so in this 2,900 plus half of your reorder quantity. Reorder quantity, as you know, it is given in the question, 4,800. Half of that, it will be 2.4. If you add both, you will get 5,300. Now, more than my explanation, just you remember the formulas. If you, if you can remember the formulas, your 99% of the problem is done. Apply your mind and do this problem. So this is all about your today's session. I'll go back to all the slides so that you can take screenshot. So this will be your problem. And this will be your stock level, like reorder stock level. Then minimum stock level. Your normal reorder period. Then your maximum stock level and your average stock level. So this is all about your today's session. We done with one stock level problem. Your every problem as it is what I did today. So in the next session, we will work out another two problems on stock level as well as EOQ problems. Thank you.